What's going on, Total Nation? What is here bringing you episode two of Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi Fi Battle? Yes, it's not live. It's not live. It's post commentated. Yes, I know. I've been doing a lot of post commentated lately. Not a lot of live. And I haven't had a lot of time to do live. I haven't had a lot of time to do live. But here we are with the Wi Fi Battle against Christian 6v6 OU OU match. Yes, oh my gosh. Been waiting to do an OU match to use Mega Low Pony. Oh my gosh, I love Mega Low Pony. Mega Low Pony is legit. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know why. I just like it. Uh, and I like Mega Beedrill. If you haven't seen my single shenanigans, Mega Beedrill and single shenanigans, see, he is a beast. He is a beast. Anyways, anyway, season two is coming up too. So stay tuned for season two. Season two, actually, season two already started. I think yes, it has. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so so out of whack. So out of whack. As you guys can see here, I got my headband and my War Tortoise hat on. Yes, that is gonna be a common thing in my videos because I am War Tortoise here on the Total Nation. Anyways, guys. Anyways, and I like the hat. I love it. I love it. It's nice. It's nice. And it's winter time. It's cold, so it keeps my head warm. Anyways, anyways, anyways. So here we are with the battle. I brought Mega Low Pony. I brought the. Well, let's look at Christian's team first. He brought Greninja. Oh, Mr. Suspect Test. Mr. Suspect Test. Mr. Suspect Test. Out here. So he brought Mega. Mega Greninja. Mega Greninja. Oh my gosh. Banned for life. We didn't, no one would even get to use it. So he brought Greninja. He brought. He brought Gengar. He brought um, Zoark, he brought uh, Landorus, he brought the Scrafty, and he brought the Cotton Ball Mega Altaria. I don't know, I think it's Mega Altaria. Most, who'd, who wouldn't bring Mega Altaria? It's a Mega Altaria. Anyways, I brought my Heliolus, Weavile, Lan Lando, Ferrothorn, Mega Low Pony, so fluffer, and then uh, Rotom Wash. Standard, standard, I love this team, it's a good team. It's a, this good good team I think I'm gonna switch up one Pokemon or so to, to kind of balance out but I like this team so let's hit that start and let's get this battle started so you guys can see what's going on what 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 happened in this battle so Christian leads off with his Lando and I lead off with my Mac Dre Mac Dre boy all damn day boy um, Rotom Wash I didn't have a nickname for him I just let like, Mac Dre it'd be cool so I go for the Will Whisk because I'm like if he's gonna stand, I'm gonna burn something. I'm gonna burn it. And if not, then someone's gonna get hit with a burn anyway. So he goes for the swords dance. I was like, whoa, he was trying to set up on me all day. I guess he doesn't know what real Tom Wash does. It, it burns people. Come on, man. So I burn him. And, 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 and he goes for the stone edge. I was thinking about something else to tell you guys. But you guys can't see me because I'm not doing a face cam for this. No, not a face cam. So I was like, oh, I'm wearing my War Tortoise and headband. You guys can't even see it. But anyways, he goes for the Stonish. Stonish does nothing. And I'm a leftovers Rotom wash. And I'm a, I am a mixed, mixed defensive Rotom. Max HP and split between defense and special. Both my defenses. So he's going to switch out. And I think I go for a Hydro Pump here. And whoever's going to come in is not going to like a Hydro Pump from a uh, Rotom wash. Rotom's... Let's on wash uh, special attack is still pretty gnarly for not being invested in and it almost ta almost okos this Gengar but I'm pretty sure this Gengar is a focus sash Gengar anyways so he, he's left with a sliver of health and I outspeed I was like what the heck because I just went for a shadow ball just for the kicks of it I was like what the fuck might as well go for it and he I outspeed I outspeed I was like what no way how do I outspeed a Gengar that must have been a uh, a defensive support set or some some type of where there is no speed investment so he brings his Zoark and I was like eh, you know I'm not gonna switch out there's no need for it I, my Rotom Wash could take a Dark Pulse and it did couldn't take a damn Dark Pulse it got I got annihilated obliterated oh my gosh I didn't die but still Jesus Jesus thought I could take a Dark Pulse but so I'm like well whatever might as well I just burn him just hit him with the Will-O-Wisp and he's gonna go for a dark pulse. I'm like, I'm gonna stand. Doesn't I don't need to switch out. It doesn't I'm not like looking for to switch out and keep all six of my Pokemon. So I just let I just let him go down and let him rack up some more burn damage. And I'm like, okay, let's go into Lando because Lando could, is definitely gonna outspeed because I'm choiced. I'm choice scarfed Lando, choice scarfed. And you know what the funny thing is, is that I keep bringing the long the wrong Lando. I haven't fixed this Landorus. All he has is for physical attacks is a U-turn. As you can see there, I did a U-turn. I took out this Zoar. Easy peasy, one, two, three. But all he has is U-turn and Stone Edge for his physical attacks. The next one, I think he has, and his other two moves are Sword Dance and Earth Power. I'm like, what the heck? Why do I have this? Why do I have this? So I bring in my Ferrothorn because I'm like, nothing on this team is going to like a Ferrothorn. My Ferrothorn is a beast. And so with this Greninja, he goes for sub. And I was like, what? Sub Greninja? 
What? Never seen that before. Really never. And I go for the Stealth Rock, so in case he decides to keep switching out, I'm gonna take some Stealth Rock damage, guys. This Greninja really can't do nothing for me unless he's running like Focus Blast, Low Kick, some type of anything. I'm like, well, you know what? Whatever. His Greninja. But he goes for the Hydro Pump, so this is a basic Hydro Pump, probably a Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, Greninja, or something, something of that variant with Sub. I was like, oh man, too easy. I'm just going for a Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball will definitely take out this sub here. Even though it's not very effective and he's a water type. But still, it'll take out his sub because he's like 10 times faster than my Ferrothorn. So it knocks out his sub and I'm like, you know what? You know what? He's water type right now. I'm going to go. I'm going to. I don't want to go for. The, so he has Shadow Sneak. I was like, what the heck? So he's a mixed Greninja with Shadow Sneak for priority. But I was like, I'm going to go for a Power Whip here because if I go for a Leech Seed and he goes for for a sub, at least he's not going to go through the sub, but he's going to get hurt by Iron Bars and Rocky Helmet, because that's what I run, Iron Bar Rocky Helmet, and that's a physical attack, oh, and this, this is definitely going to take him out, because I am way too strong as a Ferrothorn, way too strong, and Greninja's frail little, frail little stick ninja, frail little stick frog, so he brings in his Landorus, I'm like, why is he bringing a Landorus against a Ferrothorn, I'm a grass type, and he's ground, what the heck, and he goes for the Earthquake, I'm like, Oh my gosh, is he just going to sack this off or try to get his minimal amount of damage? So I just go for the Leech Seed. I'm like, there's nothing this Landers can do to me. Stone Edge, most of them run Stone Edge, um, Earthquake, Knock Off, and uh, what's, the, what's the other um, Oh man, uh, Earth, whoa, 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 I can't even think, I can't even think. Oh, U-Turn, U-Turn. I was like, so there's nothing he really can do. Nothing he really can do. And he's burnt and he has Leech Seed. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a good 25% of his health gone every turn every turn and i think i go i think i go for a power whip here yes power whip just to take him out because he's a landorus and landorus is not going to take power whip, but he does i was like this is a bulky ass landorus landorus takes that power whip that is super effective damage hitting him but it's okay because he's still got he's still burnt and he has leech seed so this part here is going to take a little while guys because he just stays in and i'm going to stay in there's no need for me to switch out here because it's a landorus and he goes for swords dance i'm like really Really, guy? Really? Really, guy? I mean, why? Why are you doing that? Why? No. Yes. No. No. Don't do it. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. And I take his life with the Leech Seed and Burn. And there's no point for him to go for Swords Dance. Why? There's no need. No need. No need. And then, so he dies to the Burn. I'm just blabbering, guys. I'm just blabbering. Blabber, 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 now. So he sends out his Scrafty, and I'm like, ooh, Scrafty, what is Scrafty? He's probably gonna go for a D-Dance. And I think I, I think I go for a Leech Seed here, to, just to get some more residual damage as he goes for the D-Dance. He's gonna set up all over me. I don't have anything to win with him. But he's probably a Shed Skin Scrafty, as he is green. But I hit him with that, with that Leech Seed. There's nothing really Scrafty can do to me either, unless he's carrying Fire Punch. And Fire Punch really, uh, oh wait, whoa, never mind, he's a fighting type, he hit me with Drain Punch, he hit me with High Jump Kick, but he's still gonna get hurt a lot, one, Leech Seed damage, two, Rocky Helmet and Iron Barbs, and I'm full health, oh my gosh, so he goes for the Ice Punch, so he must not be carrying a fighting type move, uh, don't know, Scrap you without a fighting type move, that's weird, that's weird to me, so I'll go for the Gyro Ball since he pulled up, um, a D dance, so I'm like, well, yeah, you gotta speed up. So, Gyro Ball's gonna do a lot of damage. Plus, Leech Seed is negating his leftovers. Yeah, give me your life. Just give me your life. I mean, if he hits me again with the Rocky Helmet, ooh, if he hits me again and get Rocky Helmet Iron Bar, he's gonna take him out. So, he goes for high jump kick and he misses. I don't know why he didn't go for that in the first place. I couldn't believe Ferrothorn is so nimble. Nimble Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is the nimblest of nimbles. I couldn't believe it, Ferrothorn. So he brings in his Fluffy. Fluffy! Mega Altaria here. So he's gonna Mega Evolve, and I'm like, ooh, why is he bringing a Mega Altaria against Ferrothorn? Man, this Ferrothorn is doing work against this team. Doing work. Doing work. And he goes for the Earthquake. I think I go for another Elite Seed. That's all, I, that's all I'm doing with this Ferrothorn. This Ferrothorn is a monster. He's a monster. I, I set up with the Elite Seed here. There's nothing this Altaria can do to me. Nothing. He can hit me with Earthquakes all day, but I will definitely definitely outstall this Altaria all day. Even goes for Roost because he's stuck with Leech Seed. I think this is his last Pokemon as well. So he goes for the Roost here and I'm like, oh, well, he's just going to Roost up, Roost up. I, think I'm gonna, I don't think I want to stay in here anymore after I hit him with this Gyro Ball because he is faster than me. Just by a little bit though. 
No, actually not by a little bit. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do a good 25%. I think a little 30%. And then plus the least, a good 50%. I don't know. My, my math is wrong. I did a good good 40%. And then at least he took out another another 10%. Gave him 50%. Took around 50% of his life. So I switch out because I'm like, he's probably going to go for a roost here. and go into my Lando. Lando's choice scarfed. And I can hit him with the Stone Edge. Stone Edge will hurt. hurt. But he goes for the Earthquake. I was like, what? He went for the Earthquake instead of the roost. Now he is... Perfect enough level for me to hit him with the stone age and take him out. But I oh I went for a U-turn. I went for the U-turn. I don't know why. Maybe I thought the U-turn was gonna take him out, but I should have went for the Stone Age here. Maybe I thought the Stone Age wouldn't take him out either. Oh so I go to my Weavile, which is a terrible choice because whatever this Altair goes for is gonna mess me up. But I'm focused Ash Weavile, so it doesn't really matter. And then I get to hit him with a nice, super effective Ice Shard because he's gonna take him out. He only has a sliver of health and then plus delete C damage is racking up. So Ice Shard is gonna hit and is gonna take him out. There goes down the Mega Altera and then I win 5 0 clean. I could have won with the Lando out there because really there's nothing that I think could have done plus with the Intimidate. So that was a good battle, Christian. Good battle. I don't have a, his Twitter link in the description. I just found a battle online and I was like, hey, anyone want to battle OU? And he, he was like, yeah, I'll battle you. So we had a little battle and that was fun. It was a fun battle. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash that like button if you guys did. Hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of this awesome nation, the total nation. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good night, good evening, and a good day. And hey, happy New Year's to all you guys. Happy New Year's and a Merry Christmas since I haven't said it in a lot of videos. But Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. <laughs> and so happy with the Pokemon that we have that our Megas are usually so linked with each other. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how it keeps happening. But We're going to hit that challenge, but we have an even 15 in rank because we haven't started yet at all. We haven't hit 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's get this started. Hopefully we get a good battle. Good battle.